Hey everyone, I'm Mariana and I'm here to talk about Little Women. I cannot believe this year is almost over already and this will probably be my last film that I see in theaters this year. Everything else will have to wait until January, but what a film to end the year on. This is, of course, a readaptation of Louisa May Alcott's famous novel. This time, the film is written and directed by Greta Gerwig, and it tells the coming-of-age story of four sisters spanning from early 1860s to after the Civil War. This film is just lovely. That's the word that came to my mind when I was thinking about describing this film, and I am sticking with it, even though that's not a word I normally use. It's lovely. That's what this film is. It is a beautiful and heartfelt story with wonderful characters, none of which are perfect, but all of which are very interesting and very driven by their hopes and dreams and who they are as people. I really appreciated the complexity of all of these young women. They are all strong in their own ways, but never one-dimensional and never, as I mentioned, perfect. They each have their own faults and strengths. They make mistakes. They try try to be better, but above all, they want to be there for each other, and their bond as sisters is the heart and soul of little women. There's this quick line that Meg, Emma Watson's character, says to Joe, Sir Ronan's character, I don't remember what exactly the line is, but it's something like, just because my dreams are different from yours does not mean they're unimportant, which I thought was actually very significant. It was definitely relevant back in the day when this film is set, but it's also very relevant right now. People are different, but when you are driven by this idea of what happiness looks like to you, you kind of tend to project this onto your friends and family and try to talk them into your idea of what's good and what isn't. It's important to realize that just because something seems like a great lifestyle to you, doesn't mean it sounds like the best lifestyle to someone else. I'm going to stop ranting about this. What I'm trying to say is I'm happy that they included that line because I think it's an important thought to consider. And it's kind of ironic that Meg's role is so small compared to Joe's and Amy's. I would have loved to see more Meg in this film because... I think she has more to her in the novel, which I haven't read, unfortunately. I'm very interested now. But I feel like she has more to her in the novel that was shown in the movie. And I do want to see her perspective because it seems so different from the perspectives of the two girls that stand out the most in the film, which are Amy and Joe. That was actually one of the small issues I had with the film. There were definitely characters who didn't get as much screen time or development as they deserved, which is a shame on its own when you have characters with this much potential, but here it's even a bigger bummer when you have a cast that is this great. Saoirse Ronan and Florence Pugh as Joe and Amy were the standouts, for sure. I loved both of them. Also, Laura Dern as the mother had an amazing presence every time she was on screen. I would have loved to see more Emma Watson as Meg, as I already mentioned, but also Meryl Streep as Aunt March, a character I definitely wanted to know more about. Basically, most of the supporting cast I wanted to see more of, and I wanted to know more about their characters, which is not exactly possible in a two-hour film, but still, you know, it kind of left me wanting more. I can't say that I loved Timothy Chalamet in this, though, which is unfortunate and kind of weird because I do think he's very talented, and he did have a few scenes that I thought were really great, but there were also parts that just didn't fit for me. Something about his performance just didn't quite click, and I don't think it was the best role for him. This might be a minority opinion. I know people love him as an actor, and yes, I do relate to that in general. But in this film, I just, his character was one of my least favorites, and that had very little to do with the actual character and a lot to do with his performance. Just 
didn't click for me. My other small issue with this film had to do with the timelines. I love the idea of switching between the two timelines. I love that Greta Gerwig made that decision, but there were points in this film where I found it pretty confusing which timeline I was watching. It is my understanding that the book is not like that, that the book is linear, which once again, I do like that she chose a non-linear way to tell the story but I wish there was more to distinguish the two timelines, especially because she used the same group of actresses who were all great, but just seeing them as 13 to 15 year olds and the same people playing them seven years later, there just wasn't enough difference in some scenes to distinguish the timelines and I found that a little bit confusing. However, later in the film, there's a very clear color palette difference between the two timelines, which makes things a lot easier. I just wish it was easier to understand throughout. I can't be the only person having this problem. Tell me if you guys struggled with distinguishing timelines at any point in this movie. Something I thought this film did really well is get to that balance between a more modern film and something that still feels like a classic. It feels appropriate in both perspectives. Somehow Greta Gerwig manages to have it be both. Something that feels like it could happen at any point in time, something that feels like could happen even today, and also something that is very much of its time. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that this adaptation of Little Women actually feels pretty timeless. I can easily recommend this to almost anyone. It is a wonderful, warm, heartfelt story. I think the themes of trying to find yourself and trying to make the life that you want for yourself, but also wanting to be loved and wanting to be surrounded by family and kind of feeling nostalgic about your childhood and when you had all of your goals and dreams and how you kind of reconcile that with becoming an adult. I think all of that is extremely relatable and it is done so, so well in this film. Little Women is a film that really came together despite any kind of minor issues it might have. It's something that just feels like a great movie and the further in I got, the more I was loving it. I also have to say without spoiling anything that I absolutely loved the way the ending was done. I don't know if that's how things are in the book or in the other adaptations. It feels like something Greta Gerwig decided to do on her own and I just loved how everything was presented and how it turned out. I'm trying to be vague because I don't want to give spoilers to anyone who is not familiar with the story, but yeah, the ending was one of the best parts. This is a great film to watch around the holidays, something to go and see with your whole family, and it is definitely something that you should see on the big screen because it is a very gorgeous film. It made me want to read the novel, which is great when the movie gets you more interested in what's going on with the story. I didn't have to read this for school or anything like that, and I never heard anything about this book that made me super interested in it, but now I am definitely very excited to actually read the source material and discover even more about these characters. I'm going to give Little Women a 9 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. It is definitely one of the best of the year. You should absolutely go see it. Take your friends, take your family, or go by yourself. It is a beautiful story that I think should be experienced, especially on on the big screen. And that's it for this review. Let me know if you guys have seen this film already and what did you think of it in the comments below. Also, if you have read the novel, let me know how it compares to the film, which one you like more. You know what to do. Let me know all of your thoughts on Little Women in the comments below. I read all of your comments. I try to respond as much as I can. I can't respond to every single one of you, but I promise I read every comment I get and I appreciate that you guys share your thoughts with me. I am not sure if this is my last video of 2019 or if I'm going to upload another one. I would love to 
share one more video with you, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in time. So if I don't see you until the next decade, Happy New Year, guys. I hope the holidays are treating you well. I hope you're having a great time. And if I do see you, then I will see you within the next couple days because we only have like three days left of this year. Thank you so much to every single one of you who was watching this video right now. I appreciate every single one of you and I am so grateful that you guys are here. And a very extra special thank you to the patrons whose names are on the screen right now. Thank you guys. I hope all of you watching enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful holiday season. I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.